What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on the latest on Mike Riley, the University of Minnesota Golden Gopher, who was drafted uh, 98th overall in 2011 by the Blue Jackets. And after a year of junior hockey and three years at the University of Minnesota, is now a free agent. Uh, he officially came out and said it's done deal. He will not be signing with the Jackets, even though he had a lot of other teams out of the mix. It was still Glimmer hope for the Blue Jackets not happening now. Um, right now, the four teams in the mix form are his home state, Minnesota Wild, the reigning champ, uh, Chicago Blackhawks, and the LA Kings and, and New York Rangers. So you got the home state, the reigning champs, and then the two biggest media markets in the world. So decent selection there, kids. Um, but it, as much as people take it as a stab in the gut, I just actually retweeted this. Uh, Ryan Johansson, exact tweet was, we didn't want him anyway. Subtweet like you read about. Uh, so, you know, again, I think that's such a... It's a tough blow. You know, you, you draft and develop these guys. You know, you, you take this kid, you take a flyer on him in the fourth round. Um, you know, as undersized defenseman, come out of the Minnesota high school ranks. And then he comes over and screws you. You know, he doesn't screw you. It's in the CBA. It was the same thing that happened with Kevin Hayes last year. Rules are rules. You know, you, you want to take advantage of the CBA. Sometimes you can get bitten by it. Plain and simple. Um, and, and you can't fault the kid for doing what's be what he thinks is best for his hockey playing future. I mean, anyone that does that's an idiot. Um, don't act like you want to do the same thing. I mean, you talk about loyalty and other thing. You know, it, yeah, I mean, the Jaggers were the team that took a flyer on in the draft, but there can be better offers available that are better for him. You know, why should the kid be, you know, lambasted for doing so? I, I don't see why. And I, I think, honestly, the three teams that are in the mix for him are – yeah, the four, excuse me, are four pretty good fits. I mean, I can see Minnesota, you know, they love adding the home state kids. I love adding those uh, Golden Gophers. Uh, as well as, you know, Chicago really using them. The Blackhawks are going to need cheap replacements. And it goes to the, the Kevin Hayes point. Um, you know, you, you can use a, a cheap body next year when they're going to be in salary cap hell after purging a lot of guys this summer. Um, you know, and I think Riley can play right away in the show. I mean, do I think he's going to be Duncan Keith? No, but I think he will be a productive NHL player. You know, there may be a bit of an adjustment period next year, but I think his game is conducive to play well in the show. Same thing goes with L.A. Um, I honestly think he could develop into, you know, good compliment to Drew Doughty down the line um, by the ability, you know, with, you know, playing the power play and, and shit like that. And then, you know, New York and, and Minnesota. I mean, New York, you know, the Rangers, obviously. I already talked to Minnesota. I'm not reading an order right now. Uh, the Rangers drafted uh, Brady Shea, uh, his teammate and the sometime defense partner for uh, for the, the Gophers in the 2012 draft. They just signed him this summer, or uh, a couple, couple weeks ago. I think it was like April, so it wasn't the summer yet. Uh, so all four fits make sense. And, you know, for Blue Jackets fans going at the kid, you know what? It happens. The kid got to do what's best for him. And it, I, it was the same way I was defending Kevin Hayes last year, even though Kevin Hayes refuses to come on the power play, so... Whatever. Anyway, that's our episode of the Power Play with Siege on the latest on the Mike Riley situation. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.